Hi, Blair Williams here, the author of Super Stripe, uh, the plugin for WordPress that makes it easy to charge uh, transactions through the Stripe credit card gateway. Uh, you don't need a dedicated IP address to use this, and you don't need an SSL certificate installed on your site. And I want to show you today how easy it is to add a Buy Now button to one of your uh, pages or posts on your site once you've got this installed. So. Um, if you go through the Superstripe, doc, Superstripe documentation, you'll find that uh, the first step is to register for a free account on SuperstripeApp.com, and then you will connect your Stripe account with the Superstripe App account, and then you will get an API key. So once you have that API key and you've installed Superstripe on your website, you just paste it right here. Uh, which I have done and you hit save changes and you're ready to go you'll get this message here and so now I'm gonna go add a buy now button to one of my pages so I've just created a new page and I'm going to entitle this my cool ebook All right, and when you're ready to put a buy now form on your site, uh, Superstripe actually adds a little button here on your rich text editor, and you can click that, and it'll bring up a form here. Uh, it's a little bit uh, lengthy, but <clears throat> it has all the information that Superstripe needs to determine how to charge your um, transactions and um, and and basically the path the payment path uh, the terms field here <clears throat> it just will show up on the payment page and it indicates how much uh, well the terms of the of the purchase and so in this case we'll just say it's ninety nine dollar one time payment uh, and then the description is we'll just call it my cool ebook again so the description and the terms will show up on the payment page. Uh, the description is just kind of like a description of what's being purchased. Um, the price here tells Superstripe app how much to charge for the transaction. Um, and these uh, URLs here uh, indicate, well the return URL indicates what URL the user will be returned to after they make a purchase successfully. And the cancel URL is the URL that they'll be sent to if they decide to cancel out of the payment. And so I already have a page set up here. And I've got a page set up for cancellation as well. Now, this is an important one right here, live or production mode. Uh, with Superstripe app, it's really easy to run test transactions. In fact, that's what we're going to do today is run a test transaction. Um, and so we're going to set this to false. Um, and I'll show you, uh, once you've tested the flow of the payment, um, you can easily set this to true uh, and you'll be ready to start really charging transactions. But we recommend that you always run transactions in test mode first just to make sure that everything's working. Um, this admin sale notice emails, um, these are email addresses that will receive a notification that a sale has happened and these email addresses will also receive important information about the transaction such as the person who purchased the Stripe invoice number or charge ID and uh, exactly what they purchased. Uh, you can actually do a comma separated list here of email addresses and each one of these people will get an email when a sale happens. The button text is the text of the buy now button on your site and this is the currency that we're that we're charging in it defaults to US dollars uh, but as you know Stripe is also supported in Canada so it could be CAD as well. 
uh, but we're going to set it for USD right now. And this space right here is uh, when a transaction goes through SuperStripe app, um, not only are uh, admins notified that a sale has occurred, but the customer also gets a receipt. And right here, you're able to customize the receipt that's sent to the user. Uh, for right now, though, we're going to leave that blank. And so we're just going to use the default receipt message that SuperStripe app will generate. And let's insert that into the page here. So you can kind of see um, this short code has been generated and it has all the information that we um, talked about as we were filling it out. So now I'm going to publish the page. And if I view the page, I have buy my cool ebook for $9.99 and here's my form. And so I'm going to put in some information as if I'm a customer. And I'm going to hit buy now. You can see here that it has now redirected me to this secure checkout page here. And it has the the name of my organization that I set up when I registered for my free account. Um, it has my description here that I set in the short code. It has my terms here that I set in the short code. And let's just fill out the payment form as if we're a customer. Now Stripe has a whole set of uh, test cards that you can use when you're in test mode, um, which is clearly indicated right here. <laughs> You'll know what, what if you're running a test transaction. Um, and so you can go to that page. It's listed on their site um, that has uh, all of the different uh, card numbers that you can use. You can even use card numbers that are going to fail. Um, and so this is, their, this is kind of their main number uh, for a successful charge to happen and you can put in any expiration date here as long as it's sometime in the future and any three to four digit security code will work here and let's hit checkout all right and so what's happening here is it's uh, sending the transaction to stripe and then it will redirect the user back to your site and as you can see here on the thank you page they can see the contents of their uh, of the of the email that they will also receive right here, and it'll have their first name, you know, on the default receipt, and it lists out uh, their name, the amount that they just paid, the description, the person or company that they're paying to, the invoice of the transaction. That's the st you can actually look that up in. Uh, your Stripe account once the transaction has has happened, and and the customer's email. So um, it's really that easy. And hope that you enjoy Super Stripe. And if you have any questions, you can fill out the contact form on SuperStripeApp.com, and uh, we'll give you some help. Thanks.